Pray Jesus. Praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords. God sent me out to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you will give your life to Jesus Christ today. Today's message is righteousness based on faith. Righteousness based on faith alone in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now righteousness means you are rightly standing with God and you are rightly working with God. In everything, not in some things, but in everything. And you are not opposing God. Rightly working with God, rightly standing with God, and you are not opposing God. None of us should be at odds with God. And none of us should have any conflict with God. We all should desire and we all want to have a right relationship with God. But we can't earn it, and we cannot possess it. It is something given to us by God. It is impossible to live righteously without God. In fact, Job asked this question. In Job 9 verse 2, But how can a man be right before God? That's a good question. How can a man, man be right before the Holy God of Israel? The answer to that question, it is impossible. For Prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah verse chapter 64, verse 6, all of us, not some of us, all of us have become like the one who is unclean. And all of our self-righteousness are like a fitting right. The word unclean in Bible sense means unacceptable. Our self-righteousness and our good works. It's all acceptable, as I have said. It is like a filthy rag in the eyes of God. So for us to come to God, we must come by faith. Righteousness that based on faith. That's the message today. As I am saying, that all of us is unclean. No exception. No, you are not exempt by that friend. Even with our best righteous life, even with our best intention, to compare that with God's righteousness, as I call it a future right. And of course, that does not mean God does not appreciate our righteous living. Of course, He does. For God says, Be holy, be holy, as your heavenly Father is holy. But we cannot compare to His holiness to ours. That's a massive difference, just as heaven is higher than earth. Psalm 11 verse 7. The Bible says, For the Lord is righteous and he loves, he loves righteous days. And the upright shall behold his face. Now God has the ultimate quality of being just or right. The concept of righteousness, it will be given to us a right standing with God. My dear friend, God wants you to live a righteous life. But none of us is righteous, not even one in the whole entire world. Only God alone is always right and just, and we are not. A person becomes self-righteous when they insist they are right, even though they are wrong, and they are still wrong. Righteousness does not come from ourselves. Righteousness alone is from God. Jesus Christ said in Matthew 5 verse 20, for I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. Now the Pharisees and the scribes, they focus on outward obedience to the law without the inward change of life. The way of true righteousness is through change of heart. And the way to achieve this is through our Lord Jesus Christ to follow him to serve him and to worship him and rightly working with him and rightly standing with him. Listen, my dear friends, God wants you to live righteously. Not us just keeping the rules and regressions of family love. Righteousness proves that we belong to God. 
John says in First John chapter one, verse three, uh, verse seven to ten, their children do not let anyone lead you astray. He who does what is right is righteous, just as is righteous. And he who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. And no one is born of God will continue to sin because God's sin remains in him. And he cannot continue sinning because he has been born of God. God bless you, sir. Have a blessed day. And this shows that we are the children of God. As we are the children of God, we are not the children of the devil. And anyone who does what is right, who does what is not right, is not a child of God. No one who does, who does not love his father, now you cannot claim that you love God and you do not love your brother. You see, we are talking about righteousness based on faith. And faith alone in our Lord Jesus Christ. How can a man be made righteous before God? It is impossible for you to live righteously without God. The only way to get righteousness is through Jesus Christ. Nothing more and nothing less. Nothing, and I mean it, nothing that we can do to be righteous without Jesus Christ. There's no any righteous act, no any righteous good, no ritual, no sacrifice that you can do to make yourself right with God. Not by your good words, not by your good earnings, not by your good looks, not by your good, even your best intentions. You cannot be righteous before God until you receive Jesus Christ into your heart. So we must understand this, my dear friend. So come to Jesus Christ today, and Jesus Christ will make you to be right, and Jesus Christ will make you and give you righteousness. You need God in your life, my dear friend. If your religion tells you to hate somebody, that religion is from man, it's not from God. Jesus Christ say, pray for your enemies and love your enemies. You want to be right today? Give your heart to Jesus Christ, my dear friend. Only Jesus Christ can make you to be right. A tree that bears good fruit is a tree that produces fruit is because that tree stands firm in the rivers of water, the water of God that flows in your life, that shows you the way you have to live, that you may live rightly, live righteously with God. So my dear friend, how hungry are you? How thirsty are you for righteousness? Because that shows that the kingdom of God is in your mind. Our desire for righteousness also reveals and showing us the true faith. There are three keys that I want to give you today to be hungry for righteousness. Number one, desire to be righteous. Do you have desire to be righteous? Desire in your heart to be righteous. Accept God by faith. Accept Jesus Christ, rightly working with Him and rightly standing with Him in faith. Number two, not only desire to be righteous, but desire to do what is right. Desire to do what is right. Do you have the desire to do what is right? God commands that we live righteously and live holy. This represents, this represents and this reflects God's righteousness on us. Number three, not only do we have desire to be righteous and not only desire to do what is right, but my dear friend, desire to see right done. Desire to see right done. Our desire in our heart is to make the will of God to be performed in this place. Righteousness needs to be our top priority. God bless you, brother. But I have a good news for you. One lady, she came here with crosses and she walked with her crosses. Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, she got right to Christ. She walked with her crosses. First time miracle happened here that with my own eyes, prayer, God, I tell her, give me the crosses I pray for her. She walked home without the crosses. No more pressure. My dear friend, we are serving a living God. We are serving Jesus Christ, who is able to make the cripple to walk, who is able to make the blind to see, who is able to make the dead man to come back to life. Righteousness, I'm preaching to you right now by faith in Jesus Christ alone. God has a purpose for your life, my dear friend. 
Your first priority is to see direct the contact and the commandment of God to continue. You oblige and insist to stay continuously to see God. Never seek, stop seeking Him. Never stop seeking Jesus Christ. You see, my dear friend, Israel tried to obtain righteousness of God by works and their faith. It cannot be obtained, can only receive it by faith. They tried to earn it, they failed. That also goes to us today. If you want to earn it, you cannot earn it. If you want to possess it, you cannot possess it, but you can receive it by faith. And our Lord Jesus Christ is exclusive by that friend. It is only through faith. Your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, and that's why it's become a storming blood to them. And for many of us, the cross is a storming blood for many people. And this also destroys woman pride and self-righteousness. When you claim, when you claim that you can go into the kingdom of God by your good works, you cannot enter it except by grace of God, faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why Apostle Paul fell into trouble many times with the show of Israel rights. But my dear friend, God is a faithful God. The problem I have here indicates there's a pride. Pride will lead boys and girls, men and women, into, into hell. If you remove your pride, Receive us Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. He will give you righteousness. It is by faith, not of works, my dear friend. Jesus Christ took my praise and your praise upon that cross of Calvary. If you put your faith in him, my dear friend, Jesus Christ is the end of the law for everyone who believes. Meaning you cannot achieve righteousness by your words. I say believe in what Jesus Christ did upon that cross of Calvary. And many religious people today fail. They fail hopefully and they continue to fail. You cannot obtain righteousness of God by works. You can obtain it by faith. Abraham obtained the righteousness of God by faith in God and it was counted unto him. Righteousness. Jesus Christ is our righteousness, my dear friend. So we look for, when we look up to Jesus Christ, he's our righteousness and he is the end of the law. Come to him. You see the problem I have here today? Sin is that separate us from God. Romans chapter 3, verse 20 says, By law comes the knowledge of sin. Romans chapter 7, verse 7 says, For it have not been for the law, I will not have no sin. So you see, the Bible diagnoses your problem. Your problem, my life friend, is sin, pride. And because of this, you do not have the righteousness of God that I'm preaching to you today. Let me say this, sin is the cause and the cross is the cure. The Bible says, For Christ also suffered once for us sin, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he may bring us to God, and be put to death in flesh, and be made alive in spirit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 13 says, But of him you are in Christ Jesus, we became for us wisdom from God, now worship righteousness and sanctification, and redemption. Now these are three, three key points. First, Christ is our righteousness. Second, Christ is our sanctification. And third, Christ is our redemption. And that's only if you are in Christ Jesus. Amen? Right now, you can invite Jesus Christ into your heart. And Jesus Christ will make you to be righteous. And Jesus Christ will satisfy you. And Jesus Christ will redeem you. That's what you need to do, my dear friend. So call Jesus Christ right now. Say, Jesus Christ, come into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and as my Savior. I believe that you died for my sins. And you are buried. And you rose again on the third day. You are in heaven. And when I die, I will be with you. He said, but I can sleep. That's it. Yes, that's it. Just invite Jesus Christ into your heart. And he will make that way. There seems to be no way. There was a woman more than 30 minutes ago that came here with brushes and she went home without no crushes because she believed a sister for her. She received her instant healing and she just woke up now. No more oppression, no more lot of appointment. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus Christ today. Give your heart to Jesus Christ today. Righteousness based on faith alone in our Lord Jesus Christ is what you need. It's what your heart is showing for. It's what your soul wants. It's what your mind is aiming for. Just receive it today by faith. Invite Jesus Christ into your heart. 
and by that friend, you shall be saved. Hallelujah. The name blessed by that friend, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.